This is a modern safe, or M-Safe, the model PSB300. One of the company owners offered to send a safe to me, and I said, sure, I'd like to take a look at one. And I have to tell you, I am impressed. M-Safes are designed and made in Europe. Um, they have not yet been through testing to receive designation as residential security containers or to receive uh, California DOJ approval, but that's coming down the road. The locking mechanism inside this is unlike the other mechanisms I've looked at. Inside of here is an electronic bolt that releases the main bolt work assembly when you enter a correct access code. You press on, then enter the code, then you press enter. Now, this entry pad is not merely installed here to receive your access code. The handle actuates the bolt work inside when you rotate it. So this entry pad, the electronic bolt inside, and the main bolt work assembly are all integrated into one mechanism. The door has four active locking bolts in it, two at the front, one on top, and one on the bottom. The lock requires that you enter a six to eight digit access code, and it's powered by a nine volt battery, which you install in here. The safe has a shelf and mounting holes, these are the anchor bolts that come with it. Serious hardware. Um, you also get pads you can put on the door so that it closes quietly. Also, I should mention this thing is heavy. There's a lot of steel here. So how much room is inside this? Here is a Colt Commander 1911 blue gun. And here is a Smith & Wesson 686 with a 4-inch barrel. And here is a Colt Python with a 6-inch barrel. And you can see there's still plenty of room in here for ammo, uh, valuables, your $5,000 aviator's watch. I don't have one of those. Time for an aside. John Ring has been kind enough to supply me with a few handgun replicas, which will help me to stay in compliance with YouTube's policies on guns and also help me to give you a better idea of storage capacity in safes. For a long time, this Glock 19 and this Glock 17 were the only blue guns I owned, but I wanted to use a few classic handguns that a lot of people own, so I contacted Rings Manufacturing, which makes blue guns. If you've never heard of blue guns, these are one-to-one -one replicas. Blue Guns also makes long gun replicas and replicas of other kinds of gear. To change your access code, you do the following. You press on, then enter, one, and enter. Enter the current access code, then press enter. Then you enter your new access code, and press enter. Then you repeat the last step, entering your new access code, press enter, and your new access code is set. Finally, when the battery runs down, you pull this cover off and that exposes two contact points where you can hold a nine volt battery and open the safe. Then you can change the battery. And that is the PSB 300. It doesn't come with a liner and there's no way to silence the keypad, but this is a lot more secure than most of the personal safes I've looked at and I'm adding it to my recommendations list.